I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you this trendy Korean barbecue menu, which is eight flavored pork belly. Oh. <laughs> it sounds already really really amazing. So it's pretty much eight slices of pork belly marinade, eight, eight different um, the flavors. So it's really delicious. Um, it's really fun to make just on the weekend. Yeah, you know, like you just cook different marinade each time. It's just so much fun. And like, oh, what is this taste like? Oh, what is that taste like? Oh, what, what about this one? Like the whole time you're eating this, you're gonna have so much fun. The first thing you need to do is go to the Asian market or your butcher shop, get the pork belly, and come home. <laughs> um, this each slice is about six ounces. You can use a thinner one and six ounces of thinner pork belly, maybe two or three slices, just marinate it, or you can use like just one thick slice of pork belly, about half inch thick, half inch thick. Um, if you are using this one piece of six ounce a half inch thick pork belly, then you need to score the meat. So this way the pork belly actually cook more faster so you don't have to wait around too long while it's cooking. And also it will absorb all the marinade all the way in. It's gonna be make it extra delicious. So I'm doing about like one eighth inch scoring. So all you need to just make sure is you don't cut through the pork, okay? That's just you need to remember. And make sure your knife is nice and sharp. Take your time and you did a diagonal angle on this side like this. And then turn the pork 90 degrees and then do the same action. So you don't have to change your angle, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, trust me, I've been through there. So you don't have to go through, just turn the pork. Is it 90 degrees, right? 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And just repeat what you just did on both sides of the pork, like right here and on the front as well. So all the flavor goes into the pork. <sighs> So good. So this is eight flavored pork belly. We're gonna marinate each one of them. Very, very, very different marinades. So I'm so excited. One by one, I will walk you through. The first one is my absolute favorite, the original. The original. Original means original. Nothing on it. <laughs> Put the pork just in the bag. One flavor done. Oh, oh, that was my favorite. <laughs> Just kidding. So anyways, you could do this. Um, I'm doing it in, uh, in a plastic bag, like small size plastic bag, because this is so convenient to do. And I can actually mark down with my Sharpie which flavor is what kind of thing. But if you don't go like, this much with me, then you, you can just do like, you know, like a little mixing bowl and go through that. So, but flavor number one. The original. Okay, I'll stop that. <laughs> Put it right here. And flavor number two, garlic. Yes. So you will need a tablespoon of chopped garlic. Goes into the marinade bag. <laughs> and half teaspoon of salt. So what I actually originally did when I was doing the recipe testing, I was actually chopping the garlic and the salt all together. You know, the salt will melt down the garlic or the flavor will come out. But you know what? I'm making eight different flavors already. I don't really have to go through that much trouble. So I'm just gonna rub the garlic <laughs> with the salt. The key of this marinade as well, you don't want to marinate to be overpowered or properly because end of all, Korean barbecue, we serve with some dipping sauces and serving with other side dishes to enjoy together. So having the flavor is great, but make sure it's not to overpower, it's over salty. So that's what I was going through. So this marinade is perfect for six ounce of the pork slices or pork slice. So one or two or three, it's depending on the thickness or thickness that you're using. Rub, rub, rub all together like that. If you're asking me, Sangya, this is pretty much garlic and the salt. Can I use garlic salt? You know what? Why not? Go ahead and use that. Flavor number two, garlic is done. So excited. Number three. What is it? <laughs> I 
cannot remember the A flavor. I need, I need to see my notes. Number three is wine. When I was like only 20s, late teenager to early 20s, this was like a trendy pork belly in Korea, which is wine pork belly. Wine samgyeopsal. It was trendy and I'm, I'm actually really glad to see this flavor coming back to the trend because it's so delicious. Four tablespoons of red wine. So you can use like white wine too if you have, as I said, happen to have this red wine, pork belly and wine. Oh yes. Just let it swim around. Oh yes. Close it tightly. Flavor number three. The wine is done. Flavor number four, herbs. This flavor we have really nice fragrance. Fragrance. Have a nice fragrance. Fa, fa, fa. Fragrance. Okay. So for this, I decide to use herb de Provence. The French style of the herb mixture has rosemary, some lavender. It's just really, really delicious and so floral and so much fragrance in this herb mixture. Uh, but if you already have like the Italian herb mixture, go ahead and use that. That will be really delicious too. So one teaspoon. Oh my God, this. This, this my measuring spoon is so cute, but because of it has like a little leaf, it wouldn't go through my <laughs> one teaspoon of herb de Provence or the Italian herb mix, half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cooking oil. You can use any oil, olive oil, uh, canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever oil you that you have. Just do not use sesame oil, okay? Teaspoon of water. So the water actually will rehydrate the herbs and it will help yeah, bring out more fragrance to the marinade. The pork belly in. Rub this, rub. Rub this herb marinade all over the pork belly so it will absorb all the delicious flavor. Oh, so good. Flavor number four, the herb. It's done. Okay. Number five. Flavor number five, what is it? The curry. <laughs> For the curry, you will need teaspoon of curry powder, half teaspoon of salt, and teaspoon of mayonnaise. Yes. Don't question about mayonnaise in this marinade. Just go ahead and add and taste it. Then tell me about it. Because you're gonna be just like, oh my God. I'm glad I listened to Sun Kyung and I trust the Sun Kyung. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sun Kyung. You're welcome. Oh, 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 the mayonnaise was getting me before even I'm like talking. <laughs> well, you saw me, I'm probably right. I talk too much, but so what? <laughs> I have a big mouth. Sorry. Not sorry. You could use yogurt, like a real Indian style, but mayonnaise works. Because we're gonna mayonnaise, we're gonna use the mayonnaise in different marinade, the upcoming, upcoming marinade. Open it back up to add our pork belly. Rubbing time. Give some love and the massage pork belly. Be delicious pork belly, be delicious for me. Be delicious. Flavor, what was that number, number five? <laughs> Flavor number five, the curry. <laughs> Next, flavor number number six. Now I'm starting losing the numbers now. Flavor number six is tenjang, the Korean fermented bean paste. You can use miso if you already have miso in your refrigerator. Uh, if you have a tenjang, go ahead and use tenjang. I love tenjang in this recipe. You will need one tablespoon of tenjang and one teaspoon of mayonnaise. Don't judge the mayonnaise with denjang if you haven't tried yet. And one clove of garlic, either chopped or grated. Mayonnaise is just really helping the pork belly nice and moist. And you could add just like teaspoon of oil. Trust me, mayonnaise does its magic. 
And I was trying to make this marinade, all the marinades, as simple as possible as well. Not like adding salt and pepper and garlic on everything, you know what I mean? Because I want each ingredient's flavor it pops out when you're taking bite of curry. The curry pops out. When you're taking bite of the doenjang, doenjang pops out. Like, you know what I mean? What time is it? Massage time. What is wrong with me? <laughs> JQ is over there shaking his head. <laughs> Flavor number one, two, three, six. Flavor number six, doenjang is done. Okay, we have only two flavors left. Flavor number seven is gochujang. Since we haven't made any spicy version yet, so I'm gonna make gochujang. One tablespoon of gochujang Korean red pepper paste. Gochujang is nice and tangy, spicy, sweet. So much flavor in here. But if you cannot find the gochujang, go ahead and use maybe um, suriracha for this recipe and add a little pinch of sugar. Add a half teaspoon of sugar. So if you are using uh, suriracha instead of gochujang or sambal, go ahead and use a teaspoon of sugar instead of half. All right. And half teaspoon of vinegar. Nice and tangy. We're just bumping up the gochujang flavor just a little more extreme by adding the sugar and the uh, vinegar. Because gochujang is already tangy and sweet, but we are trying to just, just bump up that flavor. So the thing too, you can just go ahead and triple or four times the recipe and make just one, um, just one flavor or only two flavors. You can just choose a couple of the flavors of what I'm showing you today. But when you can make A flavors, it's so much fun. Why not making A flavors? So here you go. Flavor number seven, gochujang is done. Woo! Last, number eight, the soy sauce. I'm pretty sure you guys were wondering, why doesn't she make the garbi flavor soy sauce one? Right, here you go. You will need two tablespoons of soy sauce. And yes, when you say soy sauce, you have to say it like me, soy sauce. One green onion that finely chopped and one garlic, either grated or chopped, one tablespoon of red wine, and one tablespoon of sugar. Some black pepper. No sesame oil though. Ooh, it's gonna be delicious! Last finale, the flavor eight, soy sauce. So, all right, so now we have the soy sauce, the original, Doenjang, garlic, wine, herb, curry, and what do you call? What do you call this? Gochujang. Oh my god, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Too many flavors. I'm losing it. So you can ma marinate this overnight. So I highly recommend to marinate them overnight before you serve. So make sure to you make this the day before. Okay. So yeah, I'm so excited. So, what do you think of my spread of A flavored pork? Comment below which flavor was your favorite and which one you wanna try the most. Honestly, you could use a different cut of pork. You don't absolutely have to use a pork belly. If you wanna try this recipe, but only thing is a hard time for you is finding a pork belly, then go ahead and use a pork butt. Actually, pork butt will be yeah, really delicious for this recipe as well. Just make sure that each recipe that I marinated is for the six ounce of a piece of pork. I spread it with uh, my little fancy, you know, this little handy dandy. Is it tray or plate? I'm not sure exactly. I got from the Korean and Bell. If I pronounce it right, whatever. Just throwing it out there in case if you guys wanna purchase that too. I have a little this portable gas, not, not, it's not gas stove, table grill that you can actually cook this on the table. I got this from Instagram. But if you already have like portable gas stove and the Korean barbecue grill, just go ahead and use that. And some side dishes I serve with. I have this spicy or not spicy soybean sprout 
sprouts. Kung namul mu chim side dish recipe right here. Go ahead and check it out. The recipe is a killer. And I do have a spinach side dish recipe as well. Shigum ti namul. Check it out right here. I actually made a regular and spicy version as well. Spinach is so delicious. Korean style. You can eat a lot of it. So check it out right up here. And Museng Che, Korean radish side dish. It's more like a salad, more like a kimchi, but it's not really kimchi. But I also have a recipe for this too. This is amazing for bibimbap as well. So check it out recipe right here. Right here for Museng Che. And oh my god, I have so many side dishes recipes, but um, you can choose whatever um, whatever you serve together. I also have this samjang. Samjang is a Korean barbecue dipping sauce, a very typical traditional Korean style barbecue dipping sauce. If you want to know this, this this samjang recipe, the link down below on my website. I did not make a video because I mean it's like so fast, so easy, just like mixing this and mixing that and mix it and da da, you done kind of deal. <laughs> so on my website, there's a, a written recipe so go ahead and check the link down below and this is new this is a green tea salt this is my favorite dipping sauce for this a flavored samgyeopsal because since they all have a very they are stink they are very unique flavor already absorbed in so in my opinion samjang is really good with denjang or gochujang one but i'm not sure with everything else and it goes with all a flavors so I tried with actually green tea salt and every single one of all the eight flavors went amazing. It's so easy to make, just a five teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of matcha powder, the green tea powder, just mix it together, ta-da, green tea salt right there, it's so good. And especially uh, on top of avocado salad, it's delicious, just your hard boiled egg, the sprinkle, mm, it's so good. So yeah, definitely try the green tea salt at home, just make a bunch of it and just keep it in the house and just, you know use it as regular salt. I really like dipping my tofu, just pan fried tofu, just dipping in the green tea salt. <clears throat> so delicious. So anyways, um, yeah, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked my A flavored samgyeopsal with this spread, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If this was I can be enough to you, thumbs up guys, thumbs up this video and share this video with uh, your other friends that who love Korean food or Asian food, go ahead and share this video together. Enjoy and laugh and inspire to cook together, you know what I mean? <laughs> and subscribe my channel if you haven't uh, for more inspirations and ideas. So yeah, definitely go ahead and do so. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah. And just make sure to take a picture if you try my recipe and tag me Sanyang Longas on Instagram or Facebook so I can like your photo, photo, <laughs> I can like your photo and comment and I can shout out on my Instagram story. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Thank you guys. I love you. Reminiscing on the time when we first met I was tongue-tied, super fired What was it that I said? Probably something foolish That didn't make much sense But you